Hello, we're going to look at independent and dependent clauses and what's the difference. So an independent, what is an independent clause? An in, independent clause, it has a subject. It tells the reader what the sentence is about, an action or predicate. It tells the reader what the subject is doing, and it expresses a complete thought, something that happened or was said. So for example, an independent clause, I did my homework. A dependent clause does not express a complete thought. It is a sentence fragment. It cannot stand alone and must be joined to another clause to avoid being a sentence fragment. So the independent clause is I did my homework. The dependent clause like this is talking about is when I got home from school. So when I got home from school, what? You, you're waiting for the rest of the sentence to happen. So if you have a dependent clause, a comma, and an independent clause, that's a complex sentence. Or you can have an independent clause and a dependent clause. That's also a complex sentence. It doesn't matter whether the independent clause comes first or second. If you start the sentence with a dependent clause, you need to have a comma after it. So again, I did my homework is an independent clause. When I got home from school, you could say, when I got home from school, comma, I did my homework, or I did my homework when I got home from school. Either way works. So let's practice. Who likes to read? We're waiting for the rest of the sentence, right? So is that an independent clause or a dependent clause? It's a dependent clause because we don't know who likes to read. I got sent home. Yes, we're still looking for some more information because we want to know why they got sent home, but you still have the subject I and the um, predicate got sent home. So subject, verb. After I finish this assignment, dependent clause because we're still waiting for the rest of the sentence to complete the thought. Smile by Raina Telgemeier is funny. Independent clause because it's a complete sentence all by itself. Because I can't wait for the bus. Dependent clause. We don't know what, why we can't wait for the bus. By the time you get this message, dependent clause, because we don't know what's going to happen by the time you get this message. We're still waiting for the rest of the sentence. There was a loud explosion during the movie. independent clause because it's a complete thought. It makes sense all by itself. The circus was fabulous. Independent clause because it's a complete thought all by itself. Unless you have the right size. Dependent clause. We don't know what happens unless you have the right size. You're waiting for the rest of the sentence. Supposing that she really wanted to go. Dependent clause, because we're waiting for the rest of the sentence, aren't we? She ran. It's short, but it's an independent clause. We know who's doing something and we know what they're doing. Whenever I go to the library, dependent clause. We don't know what happens when we go to the library, when you go to the library. Paco the parakeet lived a long, full life. Independent clause. We have a parakeet. He's living a long, full life. It's a complete thought. 
after Mike sneezed all over the hamburger patties. We're waiting for the rest of the sentence, aren't we? So it's a dependent clause. If you can give me two reasons, I will allow it. This one's a bit tricky. You've got a dependent clause here that begins with if, and then I will allow it is an independent clause. So that is a complex sentence. And there's all the answers. <laughs>